Little handbag is one of my favorite Walmart purchases ever. Y'all, I've been stalking this link, waiting for these to drop. Maybe they sent me the wrong size again. Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm doing a huge Walmart fall unboxing. It is that time of the year where there are new rivals dropping every day at walmart.com. So we are gonna tear into this together, see what's new. If you're interested in any items that I share, they will be linked below in the description box as well as in the pinned comment section. A big thank you to Walmart for sponsoring this video and let's get into it. All right, let's tear into some of the smaller bags here. See what we have going on. Ooh, first up some blue jeans, it's always a good sign. Oh, okay, so these are from No Boundaries, which is the junior section. I honestly normally don't order No Boundaries jeans just because it is junior sizing, but all of the juniors brands, so No Boundaries, Live and Lottie, they're all calling themselves now young adult. So I'm finding that the sizing is a little more true to the regular women's sizing. So I did pick this one up, let's see, in a size five, unsure if they are gonna fit. Um, I'm typically a size four right now. They have a really nice stretch to it, just feeling them first impression. They do have a zip fly, you have double buttons, and this is a darker medium wash, has great distressing and whiskering. They are calling these a high rise style. It does look like they flare out at the bottom and they do have a raw hem. Okay, and speaking of Walmart jeans, I actually have a video that we are working on. I'm not sure if this video will go out before or not, but it is over 20 Walmart jeans that all look very designer inspired some really trendy finds. So I will link that video below or be on the lookout for it. Oh my gosh, I was so pumped to see that Joy Spun has already dropped their robes. So this one I did get in a size small. I picked this up in a couple of colors cause I just could not decide. If these are still in stock by the time gift guides roll around, just know that I will 100% be featuring these robes. They're dreamy, they make a great gift. So I got this one in their bright magenta. This does look like more of a mid-length robe as opposed to a shorter or even a long robe. And this was $25, let's go ahead and throw it on. This does fit true to size and robes are gonna be one of those things that are gonna be forgiving in size. So I wouldn't sweat too much about what to order, but I am all ready for cozy season. Oh, okay, so these I believe are the Time and True Barrel jeans. Y'all, I've been stalking this link, waiting for these to drop online. They are from Time and True, and they are a really subtle barrel style. They do come with the hem rolled. I think I'm gonna probably prefer these unrolled, but that's just gonna be personal preference. So they do have a tapered leg and a lighter wash, and I do have these in a size four. They were around 20 bucks. I believe these do come in two washes. Okay, it looks like I have two scoop dresses in here. There are so many awesome dress styles at Walmart right now. You guys let me know below in the comments if you wanna see an entire just Walmart dress video. I'm happy to do that. So this is what Scoop is calling their raglan cape dress. The fabric does have a little bit of a sheen to it, like it's supposed to look like satin or silk. It's this plum and black animal print. It does have an exaggerated puff sleeve with gold hardware. Also in the back, it has this really pretty keyhole detail. It looks like it's gonna be a midi length on me and it does have two slits on either sides as well as a matching fabric belt. So I did pick this up in a size small and I believe this is the exact same dress in green and I wanted to see, oh, that is a really pretty color. When I saw this on the website, I immediately thought that this green would be perfect for the holiday season. Don't come for me, I know it's very, very early, but this dress will be sold out by the time the holiday rolls around and it's $34. So also from Joy Spun, I saw they already have out their seasonal PJs. So I did pick up this gray plaid, does have an elastic at the waist and a drawstring. This is a size small, so I'm interested to see how that fits because it does look pretty oversized on its own and it does also have pockets. This is $13, lots of different solids and pattern options if I remember correctly. So 
So also from Scoop in that same very expensive, dressier looking fabric that has a nice sheen to it is this shorter wrap style dress. And this is a true wrap. It's not a faux wrap style. This is shorter. This does have gold hardware and it does have a collar. So think more of a suiting style. I did get it in the solid black as well as that same plum and black animal print. I think these look great. Definitely keep this in mind for your little black dress. It's going to be a go-to throughout your dressier season and these are $30. Another link that I have been absolutely stocking on walmart.com has been the scoop trousers. These are $28. It is such a good price for a very expensive looking trouser. So I picked it up in both colors. This one is what they are calling tan and they are elastic in the back, by the way. They have this really nice pleating in the front. They're a wide leg trouser style. You have functional belt loops and that more suit pocket in the back. I did pick these up in a small and here is the black pair. If you don't have a good pair of trousers, you need them. They are a wardrobe essential in my opinion. I know these are gonna go so quickly and I did mention this in my last Walmart wear now wear later video which if you missed that one I will link it below but in regards to the Walmart stock it's being done a lot regionally by location so if you're having a hard time finding something and especially if you have multiple Walmarts in your area I would try changing the zip code and you will see that the stock in a lot of cases will change also it's early in the season a lot of these items are not fully loaded on walmart.com so be sure to check back on the links we will also be stocking stocking the links daily for you guys to let you know when stuff is available. I love the color on this top. And this is a long sleeve top from Scoop. It does have a deep ribbing. It is a sweater weight. It feels really nice. I love the color on this. If I remember correctly, it came in several solids and maybe even a purple. And then this is a fantastic little detail here at the hem. It does have a slit. I have this in a small and it was $28. This is another one that's going to be a great basic for your fall wardrobe. So I've shared this next item before. It's Scoop's Baby Tea. They restocked them. They're $10, so I did order a fresh one. These do remind me of the Skims Baby Teas that are a lot more expensive. These are only $10, and I did pick them up in a small. This is a style that is meant to be fitted, so it makes a really great layering piece. It's gonna lay smooth on all of your fall outfits, so I did pick this up in white, and then I also picked it up in black. Y'all, I am jazzed about the contents of this box. If you did not know, Rachel Zoe does have a few select products that are sold on just walmart.com. I've never seen them in store, but I was perusing her handbags and they are so fun. It is this cream Sherpa, does have gold hardware. It looks like a lot of other very high-end bags. And this is a really good size. This is bigger than I thought it was gonna be. Y'all, this is adorable. And it is one of those handbags that you can wear as a crossbody or you can take take both of the straps and wear it as a shoulder bag. I also really like that if you're wearing it as a crossbody, that the part that touches your skin is the faux leather. So the chain part isn't really touching your skin. And it does also have a slip pocket here in the back that I was not expecting. I love when handbags have this, that way my cell phone will fit in here and I can have easy access. So I do have the larger iPhone fits no problem and that's animal print on the inside by the way and the inside of the handbag is also animal print this is a really spacious bag i forget how much this was but i'll put it up on the screen so you do have a zipper compartment on one side and then you have two slip pouches on the other side i'm so so jazzed about this we have two more Rachel Zoe handbags. Y'all, how beautiful is this little structured bag in this caramel color? It does have this liquidy latex look. Actually, it reminds me so much of the Madden NYC booth that would look fantastic together. If these are still in stock from Walmart, I will link it below, but it does also have gold hardware, another one that's a crossbody style, but it does have a top handle here and it looks like the crossbody is removable if you just wanna carry it with the top handle. It also has this gold chain detail. The crossbody strap is adjustable. It does have a toggle closure. The inside of this one is also animal print. And this bag on the inside also has a zipper compartment and two slip pockets. 
pockets. And even though this handbag is smaller, it does also easily fit my cell phone. This patent little handbag is one of my favorite Walmart purchases ever. I'm gonna go ahead and say it. And there's one more, I think it's the same handbag, just in black. Ah, it is in a black pattern. Y'all, these are so good. Just thank you, Rachel Zell. All three of these bags look so designer. Just expect me to style with these all fall and winter long. Okay, I was pumped to see this next jacket, but I see they sent me the wrong size again. Sometimes I think there's just a glitch within the link because I know I picked small twice and I got it in a large twice, but I like this jacket so much, I'm willing to go after it a third time. I will go ahead and share it though because it is beautiful. It is free assemblies version of a trench coat. It's in kind of this, let's see what they're calling it. They're calling it Dijon, as in the mustard. It does kind of look like a... Um, mustardy brown to me. I know it does also come in olive. You do have the button front detail. It's a belted style, um, but it's not the fabric of a trench coat. It does kind of feel like denim, but since this is free assembly, I'm guessing that's probably 100% cotton. It is a belted style. It does have two slit pockets. It is such a pretty color, such classic styling. I'm gonna really try to get this in my size. And that is a heavy duty jacket, by the way, you guys. So it's gonna be great for later in the season. I think these are a pair of sunglasses. And they are, ooh, these are so fun. So I ordered some black sunglasses from this line a few weeks ago, and I wanted to try another pair. I really liked those. So this is from Sofia Vergara's collaboration with Foster Grant that's sold exclusively at Walmart. These are an oversized frame. They do have a thin arm, and they have this great little gold detailing. I forget what the price is on these, but I will put that down below. I also love that there's no nose piece, so I can just throw my hair back. These do feel like a wide fit to me, which I have a big head, I have a big face, so that does work. But if you have a narrow face, I would probably skip these. Okay, so we have another Joyce Fun robe. This is the same one that I shared earlier. This is just in the light pink color. And this is a great color pink. It's kind of a taupey neutral pink. If I remember correctly online, this did look a little bit more brown, but what you guys are seeing is true to color. And why I wanted to check this one out other than the really nice color on it is it does have, even though it's plush, it has kind of this raising to the fabric that gives it texture. Kind of has this leaf motif going on. And a box full of even more coziness. I was very happy to see that Walmart brought back their UGG Look For Less in these slippers. Um, I don't remember if these were Joy Spun last year or Time and True, but they do look like the style that they had last year that does have the hard bottom. So this is gonna be great as it starts to get cooler because you can actually go outside in these if you need to, but they have that faux suede, that plush inside, and I did go with that classic chestnut color. These were $17 and I did go with my typical size nine. I also don't normally go in for a moccasin slipper, but Joy Spun did just this really pretty neutral one that I thought I would try it out. It's kind of a grayish, a gray beige color. It also has that plush interior and this one is also $17, got these in a nine. Those were the only two in this box, but I do have one in one of these boxes that is a look for less of the slippers that I have on. I hope to run across it. And this is the matching top to those Joy Spun pajama pants. It was $13. I also got this one in a small and I got it just in this cream solid. Another one that came in a lot of different color options. Does look like it has a little bit of a dropped sleeve. It has kind of a sweatshirt hem on the bottom. Even though it's not fleece lined, it's very light and it does also have a side slit. Okay, I was hoping this next jacket was in one of these boxes. Time and True brought these back this year, but they're even better than last year's version. Version. It is their faux leather puffer. The faux leather on this feels so soft. It looks really expensive. So I did pick it up in the chocolate brown color and I also... I know I'm gonna love this, so I went ahead and got it in black. I do have both of these in a size small. I will go ahead and throw it on. My favorite color that I'm looking forward to wearing for fall has to be this chocolate brown. So for today's secret emoji, leave me one of the brown teddy bear emojis below in the comment section. So I know you stuck it out with me this long, but this is what the jacket looks like on. Also a little bit of an upgrade. I mentioned this in my last Walmart video, but the puffers do have this nice fleece lining to keep your hands nice and cozy on the inside of the slit pockets here. 
and it does have a stand collar. This is a really great looking jacket. I wanna say it was around $30. And this is what the black looks like on. Oh, also you guys, let me know below in the comment section what color y'all are most excited to wear for fall. I would love to know. So another time and true favorite that I was happy to see they brought back this year is their rib tunic. These are the perfect tops. If you are looking for more bum coverage, you can throw these on with leggings. This is a high-low style. It also has a split hem. It's lightweight, so it makes it a great layer as we transition into fall. I did pick it up in this really pretty cream color. They are calling this oatmeal heather, and I got this in a small, so you don't have to size up in order to get that length on these. And this tag doesn't have a price on it, but I wanna say this was under $15. And I've been having a really great look luck with joy spun bras recently so i did order this one they're calling this their plunge bralette i got it in this brown color that is really pretty it has a deep v neckline there's no padding no cups on this no underwire and it has a nice thick band for a bralette, I do think of more of a lounging bra or a bra that I know, let's say I'm gonna have an off the shoulder sweater and I know my bra is gonna be seen. Um, I might wear a little bralette under that. It does have a closure in the back as well as adjustable bra straps and this feels like it is going to be a very comfy bra. Okay, and there is a puffer vest in here. Time and True does do a version of these every year. So this one is quilted, it looks very expensive. I got this in a size small. It does have a matte finish. You have side slip pockets, and this one is a little bit of a longer vest style. I've been showing in some of my last Walmart videos kind of those more cloud puffers that are cropped. This one is more of a classic longer style, and it does have a more boxy straight silhouette. I think it looks very expensive. I did order in one of these boxes as well the cream that has a shiny finish. Y'all, this vest is only $15. It does come in a lot of other colors if I remember correctly. And then also in here, I do have a band tee. I love a good Walmart graphic band tee. This one, it doesn't say what the price is, but I think it's around $10. This blue one here is Pink Floyd, but if I remember correctly, they have several really fun options right now. And this quality of graphic tee, this design, the colors looks like something that you would buy at Urban Outfitters for four, five times the price. And the quality of this is super soft. I picked this up in a medium, but to do it again, I probably would go up another size. That way I could wear it with leggings. This is a t-shirt that does fit true to size. And Scoop came out with so many great fall basics, like this mock neck halter style sweater. So this is a true halter style. It is gonna really cut in, which is very fashion forward, but this is not a sleeveless style. So you're not gonna be able to wear this with a regular bra. You're gonna wanna have this on with some sort of strapless bra. And this was $28. I did get it in a small, I believe this also comes in black. And I see here is my other time and true vest. So this one is in more of a champagne color. Let's see what they're calling it. They're calling it champagne. And you can see this one does have more of a sheen with it. It's gonna look great paired with any neutral. And I think this looks so nice with what I have on. I don't think I could have done a better color match if I tried. I cannot get over the fact still that these puffer vests are only $15. All right, last up y'all. What do we got in here? I did not mean to have this unboxing be so heavy on puffers. This one is more of a coat style, but it technically does have that puffy feel to it. It's quilted, it's a belted look. And in addition to this black, it also comes in a really pretty burgundy color. This looks nice, y'all. And I got this in a small, there's no price on it, but I wanna say this was around $35. You do have ribbing at the sleeves. It does have a stand collar. You have these really nice buttons here in the front. The whole style does zip up and it is belted. I believe Time and True is calling this their barn coat, barn jacket. Okay, and you can put the collar down or it will stand up on its own. And I'm not sure if it's even coming across on camera since this coat is black. All of the awesome design details, this really looks like such a designer jacket. Another one that I feel like is gonna go really quickly. I cannot believe I did not get my look for less slippers in though. I'll have to flash up a photo on screen so you guys know which ones I'm talking about, but they are a look for less of the Uggs that I have on today. So I was really hoping to do a side-by-side -side comparison. You guys will have to stay tuned till my next video for that. And I have two more Walmart videos coming out this week. So if you